Hello there, welcome to a Creo rendering tutorial on how to render a wine glass. I'll show you how to create a nice rendering picture. I have a reference picture here and a wine glass model. And to render you go to the render tab up here. There's scenes that you can select from. When you select a scene it's important to look at the objects carefully so we want to render a glass object with a white background this one looks good but the reflections are really dark here it won't be a nice glass material so this one has a nice um, light light, env light environment so it will be better for our, our purpose so we double click that to apply and we can op apply a glass material here so PTC has a glass material with there or you can pick one from the from the library yeah, it's advanced glass but that doesn't work as well um, for me as this one so we use this one, we select that and we pick the part selection box that will let you select our, our um, glass object so I'll do a quick rendering here okay so this is the result so the floor seems to be uh, cutting the objects this usually happens if you depends on how you draw your object and also the quality seems a bit low and it doesn't seem to be that reflective we might want to have more highlights on there so we'll start with fix start with fixing the floor so you go to scene and go to room and click this button here to align floor against the object it will bring the floor down so we can see our object better now okay so we'll do another rendering to see how that looks So this is the result. It doesn't look so bad for a few um, for default adjustment. So it has a nice reflection there. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the reflection and the material quality. To that, to do that, we just right click on the selected material, go edit, and uh, I'll show you a quick way to uh, play around with these settings. Um, if you bring all the settings down, it will show um, what what each each um, each element uh, produce. So these colors are not that important for now. We just we'll bring this down first, and we'll do a quick render. So this is the result with all the sh settings down: the shine, highlight, reflection, and transparency. So I'll show you what um, transparency will look like when we put that up. So glass, it's highly transparent. We'll make it about 95 and render. Okay, so if you turn the transparency up, it will start to look like glass. It's see-through. Now I'm going to bring in more highlights and it will add more more um, more aesthetic to the rendering the reflection and the shine these two goes go along together if you adjust them up and do a quick rendering I'll show you what happens now so this is the result I put on running high so it's more clean so when I bring up the shine and reflection, it adds the shine reflections here to give a nice um, contrasting look. Now it has the light blue here, we want to make it a bit more darker. To do that, a good way to do that is change the highlight color. So if you make that more darker it, and without the color, it will like make it look more interesting. So I'll click on render and pause the video. So there you go, I made the highlight colors darker. 
and the light blue washed out colors um, seems to fade away so now it looks a lot better so another setting I, I want to show you is in the scene if you go to effects here you can adjust the the background color um, the background image this background image reflects around the glass so if you zoom in and out play with the settings it can um, create it, it can create a nice look if you find the right setting so I'll do a quick render and see how that look so here's the result so we, had, we changed the scale of the background it looks a lot more white and washed out so re rendering takes some time to fiddle around I will make might make that point one and uh, and that's that's some of the main uh, adjustment that will help you to make your rendering I'll just do a quick rendering again so I hope that's helpful that's a quick glass rendering tutorial um, this career program the career program is has a range of scenes and material that's pretty helpful for you to create a nice nice rendering picture for your for your work so I hope you give it a try and uh, and I'll just I'll play with some more settings and I'll show you the final result so this is the result doesn't turn out so bad so with the scale on point one it can make sub sub change subtle change and make it look better so I'll show you um, a few things so in rendering setting if you put on maximum it will create a nice crispy image to work with rotation there's a technique to manually rotate how you like if you go to reorientation and change this to dynamic you can adjust the rotation based on the horizontal or vertical so that will help you to comp composite your picture so if you have a glass bottle standing 100% vertical that will create a nice professional look and finally I'm gonna make a rendering with the maximum setting and I also want to adjust these reflection and shines a bit higher that might look better so these two will adjust the highlight at the highlight and reflection the highlight is very up to it only it only makes a minimum change so you can play around with with that if you like so I'll go ahead go ahead with the final rendering and see how that look so this is the final result it turned out really well I think I think it has a nice transparency effect doesn't look as realistic as a real wine glass but um, you would have to do some Photoshop work to make it look like that. But um, that's 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 as good as it gets, I think, for for um, rendering in Creo. But um, once you have your rendering, you can save it as a picture. You go to File, Save As, and change it to BMG, JPEG, PNG. So we'll make a PNG and name it one glass one. And you will have your rendering wine glass. So there you go. That's the final rendering. That's a pretty pretty good result for a a few adjustments. So so I hope you liked the video. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you um, like the tips I've given you. Uh, 
so if you like the videos like the video and leave a comment and also subscribe that would be great have a great day